What's up, everybody? Charlie here with HotTipCentral.com, and uh, as you will also see, with Prior Media, which is my company. Uh, this is a video that is basically going to demonstrate a little bit of the unique side of the uh, WordPress admin area for the X uh, WordPress theme, which is, I think, the best WordPress theme uh, currently in existence as of this video. Uh, and the reason I'm going through this is because I wasn't going to, but I got this comment here underneath this video about an hour ago that said it would be nice if I went through the back end uh, into the admins and sort of demonstrated creating a page and working with things. Uh, and it's an interesting idea. I didn't think it was worth my time, but now that someone has recommended it, I figured why not? Let's do it. So this is my homepage. Uh, if you've watched, if you haven't watched, I was say, if you haven't watched the uh, X, the best WordPress theme ever made review slash walkthrough uh, video. Go do that first because uh, it's going to show you all the different cool, um, unique things that are with this theme that make this thing so great. I'm not going to go over features. I'm just going to cover uh, basically a little bit more in depth in some of the special things that you will observe when you use this theme that kind of go with what I explained before. So this is my home page. You can see uh, when I first loaded it, there was this nice little slideshow that sort of come in. Motion background, these are actual text. This is not part of the video. Uh, and then it comes in with a fade, and so that's really elegant. And there's a little button here I can click, and I can scroll through. If you remember the first video, or if you've played around with this, the demo site, you'll know this as the integrity stack for this theme. Uh, and this is integrity one, similar to how they set up their integrity one homepage. Obviously, there's a little bit of customizations made in there, but uh, this is basically similar to how they did it. So let's go ahead and show you the back end. Now, I gotta be upfront with you here. This is a live multi-site installation I'm showing you here. So this is not a demo site or anything. This is my actual company. Uh, and it's my actual uh, multi-site installation where people can create their own sites uh, using premium features and premium plugins that WordPress.com simply will not give them. So bear with me if you see a lot of extra stuff on the sidebar here. That's why it's there, because it's a live site. So try to excuse that part and focus on only what this theme actually gives you. So this is the customizer import. I selected this as the screen just because I didn't want you to see my main dashboard. But um, you can import the demo content that uh, ThemeCo has for your theme and import it using this importer tool. Uh, it includes an import file for all 30 demo stacks that were displayed on their demo site, uh, which you can at any time look at by just clicking this annotation up here uh, and checking out the theme yourself. So you can make your site instantly look like, okay, not instantly, but at least formatted similarly to the way their demo sites is. And then you can replace content and, and, and fill in the blank, so to speak, to make things look the way mine did. Um, this is the what's really unique about this though, is their customizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and load their customizer so you can take a look at some of the tools they give you to really just, I mean, WordPress has a built-in customizer tool with it. Uh, and I have a little bit of a slow internet connection, so I apologize for any lags. Um, it has built-in tools for it, but it's not nearly this sophisticated, not nearly this in-depth. So right here, we can choose the stack. So there are three stacks that come with the theme, integrity, renew, and icon. Simply select one here and it's activated. Then you have uh, the stack specific information. So for instance, I'm using integrity. So I have full width or boxed. I can choose the width um, in pixels as well as the content width. So this is different. This is the site width and this is the width percentage wise that my content takes up for the site width. So for example, if I want my full site to be, cause it's responsive. So if I want my full site to be 1200 pixels, where does the text stop? Does it go all the way to the edge of that content area or does it sort of kind of lean in on, on the edges for a little cleaner look? And so I have mine at 90%, which I think is a really nice clean look. Uh, so you have all these different tools here that you can play around with, light and dark designs. You can enable the top bar to be transparent, which is this top bar right here, or you can enable it to not be transparent. So for instance, if I wanted it to not be transparent, I would just click this little box here. And when the update, um, I guess, updates itself, uh, you'll see that this will then be filled in with white. So then that'll be there. Just little tiny things like that make the theme uh, really customizable. Same thing with the footer area. My footer down here, if I just click this box off, it will stop this from being transparent. It will no longer be gray and it will instead be a white border around the elements instead. So there you go, it's white instead. I liked it being transparent. That's just how I've chosen to do it. So that's what I like. So this is the customizer for that's specific to X. You're not gonna get these types of customizations and these types of options with every theme. This is just specific to X. 
Uh, you can do typography changes by just simply going to the typography tab. Uh, you've got buttons. Choose the design for all of your buttons right here locally. All your button colors, your button borders, your the text that comes up, the different types of, of I mean, just really just in unlimited possibilities here. Uh, your logo and the logo width. You can change the width right here anytime. This is your customizer. It's brilliant. Um, portfolio, choose the portfolio slug. That's pretty cool. Uh, social media buttons. You can put all the social media buttons that were at the top of my page right here. There's these social media buttons and then there's also the ones at the very bottom. And you get to choose them here. You just basically put in the URL to your social media account and then the button will appear. If you don't put in any URL, the button is simply hidden. It just, it only looks for a URL and if it doesn't appear, uh, if there is no URL, then the button just simply doesn't appear. So you don't have to worry about filling in the blanks and you know deciding whether or not you want a button to show or not. Um, site icons, uh, again, just this is just all stuff that is, and then you have custom CSS and JavaScript built right in here. Uh, and this is this is basically filled in for you. If you import the demo content, this type of stuff gets filled in for you. And these these options sort of get selected in by defaults when you import that content. So that's really cool. That's the customizer. You can play around with that. It's great. The next thing I'm going to show you uh, is let's go ahead and cancel that. We're going to go ahead and show you page creation. So you've seen my home page. My home page is here with a video. It's got a logo that kind of fades in and then it's got all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and reload it just so you can see the fade in type stuff and then you can decide whether or not this is a really cool interface or not. I've got this stuff fading in. That's my slider, which I'm going to talk about in a second. All these elements sort of fade in as they disappear or as, as they reappear, as they appear whatever I can't talk uh, and then this stuff appears uh, you have this these four columns appear I mean we have these fade-in effects as we go down the page which is great and then there's different elements to this too so there's a full width thing here that sort of has a transparent background with an image behind it then you've got uh, header text with like this little accent you can barely see it probably in the video but if you're watching this in HD you can probably see these little accents near this header near this title here I put them there this is this is very easy to do um, same thing, four column layout, and then all of a sudden a full width layout with a transparent background, text. Another th happens here, this time with an image, uh, a strategically placed face so that it doesn't you know, impede on the text. And then the button is slightly off center so that it doesn't appear off the text. So very, very cool elements here. In the, f the editor, it basically looks like this. So I've decided that above the masthead, there's three, there's three components, uh, and then there's SEO, but there's three components. There's what you have above the masthead, what you have below the masthead, and then what you have uh, an actual, your actual content area, which I've used the built-in Visual Composer to, to do. This is Visual Composer. Um, it's normally a plugin that you can find on, uh, I believe it's Code Canyon, but you can normally find it there, but that's the, the the plugin itself, this is like a $17 value, has been built into X, so you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. So above the masthead, which is this above this, uh, basically this bar right here, this area here, I have a slider. I've selected the slider by going to select the slider that I created, uh, and then putting in the URL to the video that I have, and then uh, I also selected a poster image for mobile devices. So my mobile devices will see this, and uh, not necessarily the video. And then we have uh, yeah, anchor, scroll. I mean, these are all these options that come in. Now, I don't have anything below the masthead because I decided I wanted content there instead. So Visual Composer, built right in, right? We have website publishing. This is this uh, website publishing thing right here. And you can see that I've got uh, basically a header text with a description, tell me more, and then there's an image. Now you don't see the image, but it's actually this little tiny tab right here, this image is here. If I go ahead and click the uh, pencil, it's going to allow me to edit the image. So we have no styling, no float, but we have a website that's completely you, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can basically choose where this image comes from, which is really nice. Um, and then you have it also here as well. So. Um, there's two different parts here, and this is going to look weird when you first import things. One of these is appearing for mobile devices, and one of these is appearing for uh, like full width like browsers. Um, so 
you have different short codes that you can input into the Visual Composer using the built-in short codes that come with the plugin that comes with the theme. So there's a lot of there's a lot of short codes. Watch the previous video, you'll see where the short codes are. And then you can use those short codes to determine what content shows up uh, on what devices. So um, that's just how I've we've done it. I've, I've got two different things here. One that shows up for only mobile, one that shows up for desktop. Mobile, desktop, mobile, desktop, etc. Then I've got uh, all these different fields here are all different content fields. And if I want to add more content fields, I can simply just add elements, add rows. I can save templates and use them later. And I can just select a template and it will apply it. That's how I've composed the home page. I've used visual, the, the uh, built-in visual composer. Another page I'd like to show you is this page I have. It's called the complete website package. It's basically my website services are here and uh, I wanted to make a page for it. So the first thing I did is I made a custom headline and then I told that custom headline, I'll go ahead and just look in the editor for it real quick. The custom headline just says the complete package. And then I wanted it to be centered. I wanted it to the heading to be the H1 tag for the heading because that's the complete package. That's the main tag, the H1 tag for the, for the, for the page. And then I have it looking like it's H2. So it is an H1 heading, but it looks like a slightly smaller H2 version, which we'll look at just in a second. And then I have accent checked. This is those accent lines. And what you get from that is this heading right here, this little accent that's right here, a centered title that says the complete package. The actual page uh, title is actually hidden. And it's hidden because I've chosen a template. So these little template things over here allow me to do all sorts of different stuff with the theme. So if I choose blank, container header footer, this would mean that there is uh, no, there's no title element, right? So the, the title of the page title is here and it shows up like here, this is good for SEO, but it doesn't actually visually show up on the page. It allows me to a lot of flexibility container header and footer that means I want a container I want a header and I want a footer but if I had chosen one that said uh, blank container header no footer then what it would have done is it would have given me blank page again blank slate to work with it would have given me this header which is this is what this is right here the header and then I would have been able to scroll down and this footer would not have been there it would have just taken these elements right here and moved it up to here so this would have been gone which is uh, pretty cool so the next thing I have is this is built in this video right here, right? And I'm not going to play it for you, but this video is, is embedded here too. The video is right here. It's a self-hosted video. So all I did is I uploaded the video to my server. I went into the visual composer element here and I said, uh, I want this 16 by nine ratio. Here's the link to the video. Here's the poster image for that video. And I don't want any container around it or any border containers around it. I want it to just sort of sit in the middle of the page with no fancy borders around it. So that's what happened right there. Pretty good. Underneath that, three columns. Uh, just to give you a quick look at what Visual Composer looks like built into the theme, I'm just going to go ahead and try to add something really quick here. I'm going to click this little plus sign. When I do that, this huge menu pops up. These are all the options that are available for, for Visual Composer that's built into X. You get this with X, no second purchase needed. It's, it's built in. You just you just have to install it after, you know, you install it basically from your ThemeCo account. Grab it and install it with your ThemeCo account. Um, and there's even more, I'm, I can scroll through these. So there's a lot here. You can put light boxes, revolution slider, which is also included, which I'm gonna look at in just a second. Uh, featured headlines, custom headlines, icons, lists, grids. Uh, you can play around with these. It, they're just fantastic. There's so many things you can do with this. Um, and then we have list items here, right? What to expect with Plus. So here I have a container that's hosting elements. So essentially what I've done here is I've said, I would like to add a container. And then inside that container, I want different elements. So it's like not really inception, but just think of it like uh, an element inside an element inside an element. And yeah, yeah, you get it. So Visual Composer, very, very, uh, very flexible. And you can do a lot of stuff with it. So that's built into X, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of those. And we'll talk about uh, instant upgrades. Okay, so this here, I have all of these items right here. There's just an insane amount of items right here. Uh, what does that do, right? Well, this is my this is my list icons, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the above masthead, below the masthead thing, and you can put these anywhere you want. You can make these little tabs appear below the Visual Composer if you want. That's so cool, and you can still use the basic the classic editor too. This is what it actually looks like 
in my editor, you'll see all these short codes are all jammed together. Uh, that's just what it looks like without it. I mean, it's going to come blank, and then you can start from a clean slate. But I like to go to Visual Composer and just visually edit my pages. I just like doing that instead. So you see I have another page here. This is a uh, parallax. There's a parallax here, this title. And then I have uh, three column layout with checkboxes. Uh, some of them are red, some of them are green, and all these checkboxes here are not default. I set this icon. There's tons of icons you can choose, but I set this icon. So how do I do that? Well, again, I have an element inside an element, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on one of these. So this is the first element I'm going to show you. This is just the text that appears over 100 themes to choose from. So if I go like this, it says over 100 themes to choose from. It's right here. If I scroll down, you can see I get the type, a check mark. This is the icon that's next to it. So this is the check. And if I click this, you see there's just insane. I mean, wow, wow. <laughs> Lots of things to choose from there. Um, and then I, I styled it with the color green. Uh, if I go down to one of the ones that are red, uh, I'm going to go to like this one here. This is the create social network one, which if I go down here, you'll see that create social network is red and it has an X. So again, I said create social network. Uh, I chose times, which is like the X, times like a time symbol, like math, um, and then color red. And that's all I had to do, and that is that. Now, if I wanted to add more elements to this, I don't need to remember everything. All I need to do is click this little icon right here that says clone icon list item. When I click this, it just simply creates another one, exact copy right here underneath it. And if I want to move it around, I can just move it around. I can move it to anywhere I want. It's very nice. And then I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it. but. Very nice. Visual Composer, pretty cool. All right, the last thing is the parallax thing. It's it's kind of cool, it's kind of not, but it's this whole big element here. So this whole part, actually, let's show the top one because you've already seen the top one. So this whole part here, you'll see that it says custom headline and it's white. You don't see any te text. And that's because the text inside the header is white. It's just over top of this dark background, which I've set right here. So if I click this little uh, row here, um, you can see I made it an inner container and I removed the margin. I gave it a little bit of padding on each side and then I picked the image I wanted and then selected parallax. And that's it. I have the parallax in the background. Very quick. Super easy. Uh, I know I'm going through this stuff fast, but I, I don't want this video to be too long and I'm already at uh, 17 minutes. Damn. All right. So wrap this up real quick. Let's talk about revolution slider. This is the last major element that kind of comes with uh, the X as far as the back end and the special stuff. Revolution slider is again, another plugin that you normally buy, but it comes included with X. It comes built in and sort of integrated and tweaked for this theme. It's very cool. So we'll go ahead and go to video home. This is my homepage, uh, basically my homepage slides, homepage slideshow. I'll go to edit slides. And once I get to edit slides, excuse the internet, sorry about that. Uh, let's go to edit slides here. And you can, you can see all the different layers that I have for this slider. So it looks like a terrible mess right now, I know. But really, these elements come in at specific times one at a time. So you'll see on the home page, this top line here, which you can see these are all layers, a new solution, a new opportunity, a new way of doing things, logo, bring ideas to life. So these are all different elements that I can select and modify and move around and do whatever I want to do with them. They're all clickable, editable elements. And they come in one at a time. So what it ends up looking like is it ends up looking a little bit like this. Not bad, pretty subtle, but yet still really cool and sophisticated. And that basically is edited with these tools here, which is a completely new tutorial in and of itself. So if you want to learn how to do that, maybe I can show you how. But um, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of some of the amazing features that are built into X in the back end to kind of give you some confidence in what I said earlier when I said that this is the best WordPress theme in development right now. It's it's I just really stand by that statement so far, and it's really great. So. Go check it out if you want. Uh, link in the description down below and also the annotation in the top left corner. Uh, and if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Uh, and uh, hell, while I'm at it, shameless self-promotion. Check me out at priormedia.net. And if you want some features and you want some services that I offer, uh, you know, contact me. Give me a call. Cool? All right, guys. Thanks. See ya.